Well, we are back for the first time at the Bartholomew County Humane Society since COVID started. You can hear all the sounds and the goings on, and we've got Jane with us to talk about our country critter of the week, Cora. Cora. Her roommates are aggravated. Well, they're they're sensing that it's getting close to breakfast time, or I guess technically brunch. <laughs> well, Cora is a little wild today. We gave her a treat. It's all gone now. Tell us a little bit, Jane, about her. She's obviously a very friendly, friendly She critter. is. Cora is obviously a pity. She's got this beautiful, she was a horse, she'd be like a dun um, color, but she's this this really pretty brage, <laughs> kind of, because that's the new word. See, seeing her very fashion forward here at the shelter, and white, um, she's very sweet. I mean, she's only been here a couple of weeks and she is already one of the very best shelter favorites, volunteers and staff alike. Um, she gets along with children. She does not know a stranger, as you can see. Um, she is good with cats. She's good with other dogs. Um, like I said, children. Um, she needs some more groceries, which we're trying to take care of safely, of course. Um, but yeah, Cora is looking for her new forever home. And we were just talking about the fact, and this is probably the case with a lot of dogs that you guys get into. She's, she's adjusting to being in a safe environment. Right. Which is, I think sometimes we forget that that's an aspect of what you guys do is rescuing. And it's literally life or death rescuing. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what are some things when, when you're adopting to consider bringing a pet in? We haven't really talked about that much. Like, yeah, you bring a dog in that might have come from a tough situation. Surely. Um, and that is the one thing. A lot of our adopters do get that. Some don't. So it's a rude awakening sometimes. It's just a learning curve. But um, these guys have been through things that a lot of us can't even imagine. Sure. Um, even if it's, and it's not always overt cruelty where they've been beaten or tortured or tormented. Sometimes the cruelty is in the form of just never being taught to walk on a leash, never being, uh, never having their own toys, never having their own bed, never knowing consistent meals. That's one of the things we talked about. Cora's still a little on the thin side and she kind of wolfs down her food because um, she doesn't know if she's for sure going to get another meal. And, you know, it takes time for them to, I mean, they're dogs, you know, you can't sit them down and explain it to them. Right. Um, they have to learn uh, that it's okay. This is a good thing. Like being here is a good thing. I mean, Cora has adjusted really well. Um, like I said, she loves everybody, but a lot of the dogs um, and cats too, a lot of the animals and children, they have to learn like that this is a good thing because everything is new. And when they go to a new home, a lot of them came from a home, but maybe not such a good home. And they have to learn that, okay, this, they learn, they really do with patience and love and kindness um, and consistency. That's a big part of it. Um, because they learn kind of like young, young children do um, by repetitive behavior um, that it's okay. I'm going to be okay. So, and that, and this is a good thing. So, Cora has figured out that this is a good thing here, and she knows it's almost brunch time. <laughs> so, well, if you want to adopt Cora or any of her roommates that you hear out there, you can. Get in touch with Bartholomew County Humane Society. Of course, you can always go to WKKG.com for more info. And we're just excited to be back over here uh, bringing you guys our country critter. And Jane, thanks so much for showing us Cora. Absolutely. Thanks for coming out, everybody. I'm glad that hopefully everybody's safe out there. And we're getting baby steps, but we're giving back to normal. Are you guys still appointment only? We're still appointment only right now. Yeah, I mean, it seems to make our clients more comfortable also sure. but yeah we are scheduling appointments like crazy so you know give us a call um uh email us whatever is best for you we will get you hooked up there you go so stop by well get in touch then stop by and maybe you can adopt our country critter cora 
We've got all the information on our website, wkkg.com, and reach out to uh, Jane and the folks here at the Bartholomew County Humane Society. And thanks for taking a few minutes to hear about Cora and her friends here.